Once again, it is the Waking Up with CJ and Jess show here at 94.3, 97.3 The Wolf. Uh, we're lucky enough to be a big part of this year's Northeast Outdoor Sports Show, which is at the Dutchess County Fairgrounds. Uh, coming up on May 19th and 20th, it is going to be a weekend dedicated to the outdoorsmen. It's going to be great. Yeah, hunting, fishing, camping, you name it, it's RVs. There. We got shows and vendors. Lumberjacks. And uh, one of the cool parts is we get to meet a lot of different people from the uh, the outdoors world. And uh, joining us in studio this morning, we've got Pat Salerno, who is, uh, if you're into hunting, you may know the name Probably already. Know it. yeah. uh, it's a pretty big name in the world of hunting, the last name Salerno. And uh, Pat joins us in studio. Pat, how are you this morning? Doing great. Uh, I really appreciate you coming in, uh, obviously, this early to, uh, to sit with us and uh, to have a little fun, uh, obviously, as we get ready for the Northeast Outdoor Sports Show. Uh, give us a little background on yourself. What got you in? I mean, you're one of the most recognized whitetail hunters like of all time right he's shaking his head see he's, <laughs> he's modest like, he's yeah. modest. we're gonna give you the credit <laughs> yes it started with my dad um he uh played for the brooklyn dodgers uh, in the 1950s mm -hmm. and um he had four boys and i started walking behind him at the age of eight years in the adirondacks mm -hmm. uh snowshoe rabbit hunting and then uh, at the age of about 11, I started following him in the Adirondacks at 6 million acres. Wow. Uh, carrying a stick. And then at the age of 12, uh, I left my dad uh -huh. and I started shooting big bucks in the Adirondacks. I was going to say, did wow. you ever say to your dad when you were 8, 9 years old, well, Dad, how, co it. how come you got a gun and I got a <laughs> stick? Where's my gun? So you wound up picking up a gun around 12 to do the hunting. Yes, and uh, at 12... I was carrying a gun in the Adirondacks, and uh, I, my dad, I left him mm -hmm. in the woods, and I said, what is that mountain up there? And he told me the name of the mountain. I went up there, and the signal was if I shot a big buck, shoot twice real quick. And I left him. I shot a big buck, and I shot twice real quick. Uh -huh. And uh, my dad came to me two hours later, and uh, my dad was... Uh, impressed with me. I was going to say, yeah, you probably say, hey, Dad, look what I got. Probably like, wow, those two shots went off quick. Yeah. Yes, and uh, and I've been shooting uh, large bucks in the Adirondacks ever since then. Now, is that uh, the only place that you do? Again, Pat Salerno joining us, uh, talking about the Northeast Outdoor Sports Show, and we'll get to the show stuff. I love stories like this, you know, what really got you into hunting. Um, do you hunt all across the world, or are you just focus in on the Adirondacks? Uh, mainly in the Adirondacks, uh, in the six million acres, uh, my brothers and me, we hunt out of uh, wall tents in the Adirondacks, and uh, uh, we hunt several miles back in. Okay. And uh, we really, uh, I'm a real aggressive hunter. I'm probably one of the most aggressive hunters on the East Coast. And what does that mean? Explain that to me, aggressive. I know for me, when I go hunting, I get a tree stand, I get a camper, I get a case of beer, <laughs> I get some food, and I go for a weekend. That's not it. That's not how you do it, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> it starts with me in the spring. Uh, I look for uh, shed antlers in the Adirondacks. Uh, I go back into remote areas and I find <laughs> sheds. And um, and then in May, too, all my cameras go in the Adirondacks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I disguise them. I hide them. And I pick up some of the oldest, meanest uh, remote bucks in the Adirondacks wow. and um, it's like a 12 month hunt for me in the Adirondacks mm -hmm. and uh, to explain to all the whitetail hunters uh, across this whole area mm -hmm. um, I'm always in search of large bucks right there's nothing like a large buck right that's right and uh, a lot of times my uh, rifle goes off in the Adirondacks my model 700 Remington 30 odd six and uh, boy when my brothers hear that gun go off uh, yep. They come and uh, they're amazed uh, when they see some of the bucks. They're there. not amazed. Your brothers are like friggin Pat did it again What's the, he biggest, did it again. What's the biggest buck that you've gotten? Um, I shot a 14 pointer uh, 232 pounds dressed. Wow and, uh, That's I, dressed. Yes. And, Holy <laughs> cow. Yes, and I've shot some 243. Wow um, and um, I to explain to the whitetail hunters out there, um, I love the challenge of uh, seeing these large bucks in the Adirondacks. Yeah. So let me ask you that you go in and you get a 200 and something pound, 14 point buck, you dress it, how do you get it out of the woods? Well, the 
we've learned from many years of experience, uh, we use the deer carts and also uh, I use a uh, Cabela's hoist. Okay. I'll pull it up in a tree. Very and, nice. Uh, skin it out. Very nice. I know that's the, uh, I know the issue for me. I haven't been hunting in many years, but I grew up in the Catskills. And, you know, we started with small game hunting and then was able to go out deer hunting. And I know just seeing a deer, a buck or a doe in the woods is like an adrenaline shot. You're like, ah! you automatically tense up. And that's usually why. That's I, why you're not a good hunter. That's why I missed every time I shot. <laughs> but I do know that uh, if someone's listening now, I mean, you have great stories to share. And uh, you're going to be a part of the Northeast Outdoor Sports Show, which is coming up May 19th and 20th at the Dutch County Fairgrounds. And uh, are you going to be doing, like, seminars and talks and stuff like that? Yes. Uh, I want all hunters to come and uh, meet my dad. He's 85. And my oh, brother great. Tony's going to be there. Yeah. And um, we're going to be giving seminars. And uh, what I'm going to be talking about is uh, uh, my trail cameras, um, still hunting, uh, the grunt tube, um, the can and uh, I'm really going to reach out to all you hunters and I'm going to teach you what's working for the Salerno brothers. And that's important because they're a big name in the world of hunting. Hunters, yeah. And listen, if you are, you know, deer season obviously isn't for a little while here in the Hudson Valley, but uh, if you're getting ready and preparing, like Pat said when he started, it's a 12 month a year process for him. And if you'd like to increase your chances of getting that buck of a lifetime, you know, come hunting season, uh, make sure you come to the Northeast Outdoor Sports Show. And more importantly, make sure you stop by and see Pat. And your dad is still with us, 85. Yes, um, <clears throat> we're so lucky to have my dad there. Uh, we do a lot of hunting shows, and uh, my dad, uh, it's so uh, nice to have him there. He passes thousands of business cards out. Now, are they business cards or baseball cards? He passes those out. So. Okay, I, I heard. I heard about the baseball because if you missed it earlier, Pat said he played for the Brooklyn Dodgers. That's awesome. Yes, and um, you know I'm so fortunate to have um, the great foundation that us four boys had. Yeah. To have a father, to have like a professional coach in our house. All of my brothers were great athletes, and um, now we're all great still hunters in the yard around that. That's awesome. That's so uh, we again appreciate you coming down. I know the uh, the sports show is not for a couple of months and you're making the tour with us now, but uh, if you want to check it out, we videoed everything as well. Uh, if someone's listening right now, you must get approached by, so what's the trick to getting a big deer? How many times you get asked that question? And the answer, it's probably a really long answer. It's a big process. Yes. Um, a lot of hunters ask me that and they also ask me, what time do you shoot? all these large bucks mm -hmm. and uh, my answer to that is uh, 6 a.m. 7, 8, 9. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and, you know, when, when I see every them. Every hour. <laughs> and a lot of hunters say to me, uh, where are you shooting all these large bucks in the Adirondacks? Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of times I'll look them right in the eye and I'll say, I shoot them right in the heart. Yeah, right where I need to shoot them. Yes. Yeah. I, and I don't think you're finding bucks. I know that uh, I have friends that are hunters, and they want to go, you know, a half a mile into the woods in a populated area. That's not where you're going to find it. You got to do. Got to do the work. You got to do some scoping yeah. out, and you got to go into the woods. And and I think that if you're listening right now and you want to take your hunting skills to the next level, you definitely want to check out Pat and his brothers at the uh, Northeast Outdoor Sports Show again coming up in May. Uh, not only will we, be, will we be focusing on the hunting side of things, but uh, you know, fishing, camping, we got all kinds of stuff set up. NEOutdoorShow.com is where you can get your tickets. The list of vendors, I can't even go into all the vendors, and we got Pat in here, so we won't even worry about the vendors, but there are going to be Hundreds of vendors there with all kinds of different stuff. You definitely won't be bored. No, I think it's a, I think it's a great uh, event, and I think yeah. it's a perfect time. You know, leading into summer, obviously, you know, big, yeah, big game season doesn't begin until what October in our area. So I, you have a little time. I, I know you mentioned the type of rifle that you use to go hunting. Again, we have Pat Salerno in studio. What landed you on the thirty odd six? Is that something that you've always been using? Um, I started with a three oh eight, but okay. then uh, as I. Because I remember a deer hunt with a 30-30. That's what I used. Yes, and then as uh, I became kept getting a better and better hunter, then I went to the 30-odd six. I wanted um, that knockdown power okay. uh, because I'm shooting large bucks. So I went to a 30-odd six Remington mountain rifle, model 700. Uh, you, I uh, got a three-pound trigger pull, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I shoot a 165-grain bullet. Wow. Wow. 
you're shooting some big deer, you need that bullet. Ah, listen, I get it. And he's, see, he's looking. So what is the, uh, what's the deer season like in the Adirondacks? What does it run? Is it run just once a year? Yes, it starts uh, end of October. Okay. And then goes so similar to, to our area. To uh, the first weekend in uh, December. Okay, very cool. Yeah, it's a long season. What did you get last year? What was the, uh, the big score? Uh, I shot a small buck uh, on camera mm -hmm. last year, which was really something. Uh, people are going to see him on uh, Live the Wildlife show with uh, Gus and Jimmy in October on the Pursuit Channel. Okay. Uh, you're going to see me take a heavy beam nine pointer in the outer round X that dressed uh, 185 pounds wow. and uh, you're gonna see him coming into me I called him in with my can mm -hmm. and you're gonna see him coming in and then um, when he got real close I, I took him down one shot very cool wow. that's awesome so you said that's gonna be on TV yes all right so we'll have to obviously find out the date the channel will put all that up on our website at HudsonValleyCountry.com and uh, I know you've probably been asked this question too but I don't know if I'm the only one in the studio right now that's craving some venison. I can go for some like venison jerky or something. You got venison anything? Jerky awesome. <laughs> yes, I have uh, yeah, see? venison beef sticks. Oh, awesome. man. Venison. And Jess, I know that you're, I do you're like into venison. health. Venison is the best meat you yeah. could possibly put in your body. It's the leanest meat and the best for you. My wife is a huge fan. And uh, I had a pepper jack venison stick once. It was so delicious. Good. The only problem I have with venison is if you come across that one person, and Pat, you probably come across the person that said, Pat, you got to try my stew. When they screw up venison stew, it can ruin you from venison for your whole <laughs> life if it's done the wrong way. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, you want to make sure it's done properly. <laughs> but uh, Pat, do you have a website people can check out? Yes, uh, adkbucks.com, and okay. that's where you can uh, uh, buy our DVDs, uh, our Tip and Tactics DVDs. Uh, basically, our DVDs... We teach you and bring you right in the Adirondacks, and uh, we show you everything that's working for us. Love in, it. Uh, six million acres. Love it. Absolutely, six million acres. That's crazy. Yeah. How many how many miles you put on those boots you got on? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, for all you hunters, yeah. uh, <laughs> last year uh, I put between a thousand and fifteen hundred miles. Wow. Uh, in the Adirondacks, in search of the large bucks. And that's not hunting. That's in search of them. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a lot of effort, a lot of dedication. Pat, we really appreciate the last couple of minutes and having you come by. Uh, look forward to seeing you at the Northeast Outdoor Sports Show. I, I, I met you now in person. I'm excited about that, but i got to be honest, I'm excited to meet your dad. Uh, 85 years old, I look forward to meeting What's your dad's first name? Pat. Pat, look forward to meeting Pat. Maybe getting a baseball card or two. Brooklyn Dodgers, baby, <laughs> I love it. But uh, Pat, check out his website. We'll have more details. Northeast Outdoor Sports Show. NEOutdoorshow.com. Thank you so much for taking the trip in. We'll talk to you soon. All right, bud? Yes, thank you.